For our A2 media coursework, our task was to create a promotional package. This included a magazine cover, a film poster and a trailer. A trailer is a series of extracts from a film or a broadcast used for advanced publicity. A film trailer shows small parts of a film to show what is going to happen in the film and to entice the target audience. The purpose of a film trailer is to also engage the audience, which makes them want to participate in the exhibition of the production. Once we discussed our final ideas from our initial eight, we came up with two different treatments that were our most two popular ideas from the genre of action crime thriller that we chose as a group. This is because our group's most favourite genre and we felt it would be easy for us to produce a promotional package for this genre. As well as this, it would make it easier for us to attract our target audience as we are relatable to them and we would understand what is necessary to attract them. When researching the codes and conventions of our chosen genre, we found that there were loads as the genre we chose is a hybrid genre. This is action crime thriller. These films are typically action-packed movies which get the audience on the edge of their seats and are very entertaining and sometimes feature a twist. Films of this genre have a semi-realistic storyline, however, some of the weapons or iconography used may be unrealistic. They touch on extremes of real life, such as exploration, psychopaths, murderers, crime fighters and terrorists. Despite our film being low budget and low concept, we felt our narrative helped our film's visual prokinetics. Typical action crime thrillers feature different narratives. Some narratives may include props, character narrative, Todorov's equilibrium narrative, Roland Barthes' five codes, and Cloud Levi Strauss's binary oppositions. In Trap Year, we follow both props, character theory, as well as Todorov's equilibriums. In what ways does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? The first way in which Trap Year uses the conventions of real media products is how it features fast-paced music. This is common in action crime thrillers as it sets the mood and keeps viewers engaged. We use this in our trailer, but instead of having just one fast-paced song throughout, we used a slow song at the beginning to build up the tension, and then we had a loud, more progressive song throughout the rest of the film. However, there was one point in the film where we restarted the music to build an anti-climax so that the viewers would think it was coming towards the end and showing all the drama, although it really wasn't. This would help us to keep our audience engaged. We also increased the volume, bass and speed at certain times to allow us to create further meaning. Another way in which we conform to the conventions of an action crime thriller is by following stereotypes. They are very common in these type of films as they have semi-realistic storylines. A way in which we conformed was by having a black male to be the struggle of the film. This is a stereotype that we found to be most common in our films and so we decided to play it as it's proven to be successful. We had Elsha Scott Williams play the role of Keystone who is a drug dealer who's in a gang and who sells drugs to get quick money. Unlike our main character Gabriel, Keith seems as though he is in it for the long haul. Another way in which Trapia uses the conventions is that it has a predominantly male cast with only one female. We decided to follow this convention as it allows the audience to easily identify the genre of the film and ensure they know what they're about to watch. However, we did develop this convention by making our lead character a male who wouldn't typically have this role. This makes it more engaging for our audience as they will continue watching to see how it ends. The fourth way in which we conformed to the conventions of an action crime thriller was by having loads of high-speed action chases. This is presented throughout our trailer as you can see all of the action of Trap Year through the way we edited some of our footage to speed it up and to perhaps slow it down to show what has happened. Another way in which we challenged the codes of conventions of real media products was by using very bright locations. Most of the filming we did was filmed during the daytime which is something that's not as common in action crime thrillers. However, it adds a sense of youth to the film. What have you learned from your audience feedback? This is the first draft of our magazine cover, which is by Empire. So audience feedback we received from social network site Facebook were that the use of grayscale images alongside the dark red is dramatic and would stand out on the newsstand. However, we shouldn't have two different reds on the magazine as it's a little off-putting. The information about what is in the magazine is missing. The edges around the people could look more natural, but them being in black and white makes it look professional. It would make it easier to have the text on top of the image used as the background. 
also a different font for the trap year as the subheading, otherwise it won't stand out against other magazines. Following this, we made some changes. Adding the magazine tagline to the top of the, of the magazine. Moving the issue number and the price. Changing the font to white and adding a pound sign. Adding a tagline at the bottom of the magazine, introducing more of what's in the magazine. We also changed the barcode, added a plug to the magazine and also added what is featured in the magazine as well as who are starring in the film. Lastly, we cleaned up the edges around our actors. After verbal feedback on the second draft of our magazine, we also made a few more changes. We added more text onto the front of the magazine which showed the contents. We also changed the colour of the pug as we felt it was too flash with um, our character's clothing and therefore we made it an, a bright neon yellow. We also changed the white tagline on top of the magazine to the same yellow as the pub as we felt like it needed more colours and codes and conventions of a magazine show that they have at least three colours. We also added more text saying what was inside the magazine which is a film review. As well as this we also made our picture of Matt look more in proportion. We also put the £50 design inside the pound sign which symbolised the letter E in the word year as we wanted our trailer magazine and poster to show our brand. For our trailer we, all, we decided to get audience feedback from social networking site Facebook. Some feedback included adding a voiceover to better explain the plot but they didn't like how it didn't give away too much. Some people were slightly confused towards, about the narrative towards the end. They thought there was a bit of shaky shots from the transitions and the close-up shots. Some shots could be cleaner and possibly longer to allow better understanding of what the film was going on. The plot was simple to understand, definitely gripping and exciting, left me wanting to see the movie. The first change we made was adding a voiceover for the moment when Matt runs down the stairs to collect this letter. This voiceover says, the moment it all changed. This is the text that is featured in the film, but we felt like adding the voiceover would stop the, the harsh transition of the music and would also help to engage the audience. The change we made was ensuring that the music and the fades were in synchronisation. So instead of having a fade whenever it was possible, we tried to make it so that the sound of the music would fade at the appropriate time, which made it look more professional and build suspense. During the fight scene, we felt as though some of the transitions were a bit shaky in some of the footage, and therefore we reduced the amount of time with the crossfade, which made it look more smooth. At the end of this part, it says, or Oxford as an option following money and drugs. However, for the final draft, we ended up changing that, saying the University of Oxford, so that the fact that he was going to university and it was a top university would fit in with our film's narrative and also explain the title, which is Trap Year instead of Gap Year. It's when Uncle Dave is standing outside his house with his henchmen, before that sh scene cuts, there is a jump and we decided that we would cut out before he walks out over and turns around as it makes it seem more smooth and also eliminates time as we're spending too much time going into depth about the narrative. Another change we made was in the music when Gabriel and his girlfriend are walking through the school. At this point then the music was just normal and continued on. However, we made sure that the fades were so synchronised that we could copy the start of the music and paste it at this position so that it would start again building the anticlimax. The last change we made was switching around the title with the release date. Instead of having July 26th with the typewriter and then Trap Year, we decided to have Trap Year and then July 26th. As well as this, we also changed the E in the word year to a pound sign with the 50 pound note design in the background to support the brand. No, 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 don't do that. Is it like the door's open though? No. Ready? Three, two, one. No razors, this working. <laughs> nope, not working. No. We're trying to go over you, you've got tons of the shot. You know. Okay. Oh, the front chat. Two shots, Sam. Yeah, I'll press, I'll press, I'll wave you. 